Hey guys, and welcome back to Fatal Frame 2. When we last left off, we were uh, following the Crimson Butterflies, and it looked like they were leading us behind this shed here. <clears throat> so, let's go and investigate. Yai. Yai? Is that you? Hello, friend. Man stuck behind the bars. You are back, Yai. You and Sai have got to get out. She is at the cer Ceremony Master's house. She's going to do it. Go get her. There's still time to catch up with her. The keys to the gate are enshrined in twin deity statues. Look for the statues like that somewhere in the Yai, village. If we escape, I'm sure we can avoid the fate of the twin shrine maidens. The twin shrine maidens, you say? Okay, curious. Right, well, uh, okay, so I guess we have to go find some, um, thingy what's it? Some shrines, you say. Statues? Hmm. Seems to be a lot to do with twins in this game. Something can be seen in this in the photo. It looks like crimson butterflies. Uh, thinking about it, in the original game, was the main character a twin with her brother? I can't remember. I know they are obviously brother and sisters, but I can't remember if they were twins. Hmm. It's been a hot minute since we've actually played the original one, so. Uh, right, so we need to find some twin deity shrines. Okay, I think I remember where they are. One was all the frickin' way back. Um, at the altar that we passed coming back into the village. I remember that much. So let's go check that one out first. And that's where we get the keys, I believe. Uh, there's two statues that we need to find. Now, from what I can remember, they're actually, like, pretty obvious. You don't really need to stare at them too hard. They literally just have crimson butterflies all over them. Now, the Shrine Maidens, obviously, were a big thing in the first game. But it does appear to be slightly different in this one. Okay. I'm curious if we're going to be attacked... Interesting. We were not attacked. So that time where I got attacked here, um, uh, when I originally played this, oh no! Here we go. Here we go. Right. So there is a trigger. You're right, the chief. Right. Let's see if we can save some of our decent film. Get this guy with the cheap stuff. Right, so that's interesting. So the guys in the graveyard... I must have stumbled across them. On my own. I guess if you don't find them by this point, you miss them. Which is curious. Now, I don't know if there's three ghosts here. Or if there is... Four. I'm pretty sure there's three. Alright. Now, what I like... This is really cool. The effects of, uh, for the ghosts are actually really good. Um, it is pushing that Xbox. That Pentium 3 is kind of starting to sweat a little bit there. Uh, I think I'm going to power... The, oh, not on... Oh, right! Right, we've actually got 18,000 spirit points. Uh, yeah, so... Well, when we go here, that's total score. That's annoying. Why does it tell us our total score? Ha. Huh. Also, the I've noticed the clock time there is really wrong. Uh, that's because I had to remove the clock capacitor. Okay. Let's just keep working these guys over. It looks like there's three. We've got plenty of space to manoeuvre here, too. Just keep chipping away at these guys. Trickling those points in. Come on. There we go. 
Not bad. I think that's one dead. Yeah, one's gone. Alright, that should make our lives a little bit easier. So these guys with the torches, I can't... It almost doesn't really look like they have an attack. It's kind of strange. The guys with the long poles, they definitely attack. Because if you hit them just before their wind-up animation, you can actually do significant damage to them. Trying to get right in that guy's face. But he's not having it. Alright, cool. So, it's just the pole guy left. Now, let's see if we can go for a decent hit on this guy. So, he's going to go down and up. There we go. There's his fatal frame. You've got to kind of follow his attack a little bit because he does wave his head around. Now, if he misses... He actually ends up in a bit of a stunned state for quite a while. Right, well those guys are dead now anyway. Yeah, very... Oh, hello. Yeah, very strange that... We can only, apparently, um, find out how many total points we have. That's really bizarre. I mean... I could understand the game showing us our total point collection somewhere, but does it have to be on the main page of the the inventory screen? But you know, whatever. I guess it's not it's not a big deal. It's just an interesting observation, right? So one key down. Let's head further into town. So I guess also, if you're a little bit patient, this basic level film is it's usable as long as we don't expect too much out of it. So we can bear that in mind, I suppose. <laughs> so I wonder where our sister has got to. Uh oh. That's a lot of ghosts. Luckily, we don't need to worry. So it looks like the villagers were up in arms at some point. They were exploring and at least looking for someone with their burning torches and possible pitchforks. So that gives us a little bit of insight of what was happening. Something seriously devious went down. We know that much. There's another save station there. Doors locked. Don't think we really need to save the game. Wait a minute. Oh! I remember. We need to be searching these shrines. Because from what I can remember... Some of these shrines actually have film and stuff. What? That's literally just come into my memory. Yeah, I'm sure we've probably missed out on a couple of items, but it's not the end of the world, I suppose. I'm sure there's another shrine back here. I, I remember there being a sacred water in one of them. Possibly. Come yeah, on. Uh, maybe not. Also, a friend of mine has recommended uh, me to look at the haunting... Is it Haunting Grounds? The Haunting Grounds? So, she says it's one of her favourite games. Uh, along with Rule of Rose, interestingly enough. Very interesting favourite game picks. Um, yeah, so Haunting Grounds. So I'll have to have a look at that one at some point. Rule of Rose was a strange game. Uh, I think the the controversy around that game was humongously blown out of proportion and the combat was ass, but it had a very interesting uh story to it uh, in fact actually rule of rose is a game that i really wouldn't mind revisiting at some point just because my original playthrough of that 
I didn't do the game justice. I remember I was getting very frustrated with it as well. It wasn't a very good time for me, actually, when I recorded that game. Uh, ah, the butterflies. So yeah, with a much clearer, fresher head, I'd like to have another go at that game. Right, so there we go. We've oh, hello. Who are you? Are yeah, you just like one of them zombie types? It's got to be said, the ghosts in this game look reasonably good. Oh, zero shots all over your face. That's what we like. Come to mama. Oh, there we go. There's a close up. Actually, this type zero, uh, type seven, isn't too bad against singular, like zombie style enemies. Just kill. I don't know as well how the point system works. I don't know if each enemy has um, a set amount of points allocated to it. Oh, we got we got two more. So, like, can you get a thousand points from each enemy? For instance, it's just doled out in um, smaller amounts. Wow, the reload on that film is really slow as well. Come on, come on, friend. You know what? Just gonna. Give him a bit of a blast there. Oh, we lost some frames. We lost some frames there. But that's okay. That poor Pentium processor is definitely getting a workout. There we go. That was a zero shot. I'm not sure whether I want to mix it up a bit. Use some better film. This seems to be doing an adequate job. I think we're also backed up against a bit of a wall here. Yeah, we are backed up to a wall. Run! Run! Shit, that was, that was my own fuck up. I should have moved further back. Now, how does it work? I didn't know if we could get a double tap there. Luckily, that doesn't appear to be a thing. Okay, just keep chipping away. We have plenty of health and things, so that's fine. Really struggling to see these guys now, though. Oh, I think if we get a zero shot, our film instantly reloads. Yes, it does. It does. That's really good to know. So, if, yeah, and then we can just stack it up again straight away. That's really cool. Okay, I didn't know. So, we could kind of go for a rapid fire, but it looks like we do indeed have to pull off a zero shot for it to work. Alright, they are pushing us back, though. And I don't know what they're pushing us back into, which is concerning. Like, you sh Oh no, I was going to say, one of you guys should be dead. Yeah, and that confirms it. Oh! Wait a minute! No! We missed them. Apparently there's like a little loading point. Or an area transition. Oh, that's really disappointing. Now well, let's power that up again. Oh, dudes, that's really disappointing. Missed out on some points there. Well, I mean, I guess it's not the end of the world. I'm sure there's going to be more opportunities. I don't know if there's like a new game plus in this uh, game. I hope there is. That would be pretty freaking sweet. If we can play it again with uh, all of our unlocks. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you might be able to do that uh, if you play the same difficulty again. But I don't think they're going to let you do that. Um, 
on harder difficulties like i'm not going to be able to max out the camera <coughs> and then go straight onto the harder difficulty with the upgraded camera at least i'm assuming not anyway okay so let's go dump our keys in and I'm going to get out on a limb and say we're probably going to get attacked. I have actually opened this door and I've been through this door, but I can't exactly remember what's through here. Oh, right. No, 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 no. I do remember this. Oh, I didn't get that before. Very nice. I didn't get that. All right, we've actually got a reasonable bad guy coming up here let's get over this very ominous bridge the ambience here is fantastic so if we look out into this lake somewhere oh. yeah there is a drowning woman here. Trouble is, or the floating woman, as soon as we take a snap of her, she gets a little bit angry. Yeah, she doesn't like her picture being taken. Apparently. So, what we are going to do here... Uh, we don't have huge amounts of the good film. Right. Here she is. She's kind of a bastard. Because every time we hit her, from what I can remember, yeah, she now disappears. I think she... Oh, no. Oh, she's got me. Oh, you little sausage. Oi. All right. Ah, enough of that. Uh, items. Yeah. Luckily, the herbal medicines really do heal you f for a lot of health. I also don't want to move too far away because I don't want to despawn her. I want your souls. There we go. That was a nice core shot. Right, she's going to disappear now. Oh, I see her. I see you. I'm trying to help you. I demand your soul. There we go. Yeah, she got a bit of a cheeky bite off on us, sadly. I also like the fact she's a drowned ghost. Um, and there's some very... Oh, we get loads of spirit orbs. And there's some very... um ominous water, underwater sounds during that fight which is actually a really nice bit of attention to detail right drowned woman yeah so we didn't actually get anything for that well let's have a little listen to her crystal Ah, we can also listen to May's charm again. All right, we'll do that in a minute. Sounds like she did have a uh, very unfortunate end. Interesting. A big gate over a bridge. 
Well, that does appear to be where we're going. Had to be a bit quick there. Didn't really want to use that film. Alright, let's hit up the save spot. We're going to hit these save spots uh, pretty much whenever we go past them. Just because... I mean, this... <laughs> the Xbox seems fine now when I started uh, my original playthrough. One of the reasons I scrapped it is because, uh, as I said, every 20 to 15 minutes, um, it was crashing. Uh, turned out to be some strange um, settings that I had that were not playing well with this game. I think it's a fretting, uh, a fretting, a fretting, yes, a fretting. It was a setting that allows for faster frame rates, apparently, but I, <laughs> I don't know what that setting does because faster frame rates, okay. Um, maybe it unlocks the frame rates for certain games, which doesn't sound like it would be a very good idea. Hmm. Who's that? <laughs> now, there's some serious funky voodoo in this place. So, chapter three. So, unfortunately, we have lost our... Nice. We've lost our flashlight, which is uh, potentially problematic, but we'll see. Okay. I do love that. That little piece of wood that falls down. I have had a good look around here as well. It doesn't appear like there's any ghost that knocked that down. The flowers in the urn are completely withered and dry. They crumble at your touch. Guests must have been entertained here at one point. Hmm. And I'm listening to that ambience in my headphones. Oh, it's fantastic. The rolling, uh, thunderous thunder. The Kasabi is coming. Okay. There's a lock engraved with a butterfly design on the door. Hmm. Well, I guess we're not going to go through there anytime soon. Uh, I was nowhere near that door, but okay. Ooh. I can see somebody there. Uh, that was some very cons... Oh, we've got type 7. Good. Terrified man. I actually had to take my headphones off there to see if that was actually genuinely coming from the game or outside. That's fantastic. So we've got some candles and some more... Ooh. Kimonos. Ah. The instant. What does that do? Detects the fatal frame of the spirit and signals you by making the light in the upper part of the viewfinder flash red. Yeah, I remember that. This is actually like incredibly useful. It just pinpoints to you when you can get a fatal frame moment. Which is nice. So that's where we came in from, I think. Yeah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Anything else? I'll have all of your goodies, please. Wait, that's the way we came in, isn't it? Yeah. All right. It's not bad. Some film and some herbal medicine. Yeah, I'll take it. Ooh, 
playing as Mayo. Yeah, something really bad happened here. Everybody's running in horror. From her? Maybe. Why is everybody running in horror from that woman? I guess we're going to find out. Oh, hello. Who are you? Right, well, we'll give him a blast, a zero shot. Oh my god, you can see this film. Yeah, it's not great against this dude. But that's okay. There we go. See that little little um, light there with the fatal frame? Yeah, and you can also see this film ain't happening. Oh, we got 99. Which means we need to use it. There's no point having more than... Oh, well, there's no point in not using it if we've got 99. Yeah, that does significantly more damage. As you'd expect. This guy's pretty tough, though. Come on, sweetheart. There you go. Gonna go up. There you go. Other fatal frame, zero shots. Having that bit of uh, camera equipment on you that flashes when you can get a fatal frame is really nice. I mean, just in case there's any kind of confusion. He's gone. Be a beautiful. Okay. Right, there's one down. So, what do we have around here? Oof, a bloody door. seems to be held shut by some powerful force. Well, that won't do now, will it? Alright, well, we'll come back here. So there's a powerful force holding that bloody area shut. Oh. Hello. Hello. Where did you come from? suppose it's not about where you came from it's about where you're going and you're going straight to hell although oh come on come on let's get a l oh god the hell did she come from that was weird what's wrong with your arms love She's complaining about her arms. What's wrong with your arms? Let's see what we can do to help you out. Eh? Ooh! Looks like her arms are stumps. Which is probably rather awkward. Unless she's got really short, stubby arms. Is that a thing? Might be a thing. Do you just have short, stubby little armlets? It's okay. We don't judge here. Well. She was a bit lively now, wasn't she? Had a little bit of uh, oomph in her. Well, she's dead now, so. You know. Ooh. What's the stas? Ah, uh, an orb. You notice that we're going to get a lot of these orbs, even though... Okay. Even though we can't actually use them. Sadly. Right. So, what do we have in here? Apparently there's nothing in this little side cupboard, which you would have thought something would have been squirreled away in there, but no, okay. Now this room is a bit of a git. 
because we're going to be introduced to something or someone in a minute. A sacred water, very nice. And a fluoride. Okay, well, let's listen to the fluoride. It looks like May's charm it's highlighted again. Yeah, she's definitely drinking the Kool-Aid at this point. Right, let's go. Now this bit took me a few attempts. This appears to be the main slaughter room. I guess. Now, check that ghost out. Yeah, that ghost there, you can't fight him. He is a one-hit instant death kill. Uh, be nice if the game kind of warned you to that. Because the only thing you can do here is run away. Uh, yeah. Uh, found that out a few times the hard way. Uh, amongst the crashing Xbox. <laughs> Ooh. Stone mirror. So that brings you back to life. An object covered by a large cloth. The cloth is filthy from being exposed to the elements. Okay. Yeah, would have been nice to know that, hey, this thing is immortal. You can't hurt it. Run away. But of course, you know, you just have to die 50,000 times before you realize. Uh, I... Ooh. We got her. Yeah, I had absolutely no idea. Because there hasn't been any invincible enemies in this game up until this point. At least, not that I remember in the first game. I mean, maybe there was in the first game, but I can't remember any instances of enemies that you just had to run away from. But, as I said, it's, it's been a hot minute since we've done the first game. Anyway, guys, I'm going to save it there. Thank you very much for watching. Again, I'm really enjoying this game. We are basically caught up to where I managed to get to before. I think I did explore a little bit of downstairs after this bit, which we're going to do in the next episode, obviously. But then I'm probably going to call it a night because I have to go and uh, meet some friends for the act of drinking, which, yeah... Uh, although I'm actually really looking forward to that, being a very introverted person, I kind of like the idea of just sitting here and playing this, but, uh, well, yeah, I can play this tomorrow. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.